Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you another product from China that you really shouldn't have in your system or use them. And this is also a video once again showing that the sheep stuff most of the time are sheep of reason. So let's take a look. So what we have here is my 10 kilowatt inverter and I'm currently pushing around 60 amp and I'm going up and down to uh, around 100 amp from the battery and the battery is here. The current situation is that I don't have much solar at all, we're talking about a couple of hundred watts. What you see here is that I have one fuse on one of the legs and uh, this is the fuse that I put in just for testing purposes. So note that this is for testing purposes. So as you can see, this is a normal cheap eBay fuse. This one is rated at 200 amp. But the thing is, this cable here is absolutely no problem with. It's totally fine and it's cold. But this cable here, I can feel is hot. This is copper cable so the heat transfers. And I cannot touch this fuse at all. It's bloody damn hot. And uh, I have checked the connections, both that one and that one inside there. There's nothing wrong with the connection. They are clean. They are tied to a really good connection. Uh, so the problem is actually the resistance in the fuse. So let's quickly take our FLIR i7 and see the heat of the cable generated. And as you can see here, that cable is really, really hot. Close to the connection we have around 43-44 degrees and the fuse itself is way above 50 degrees. And we are only pushing around 40 to 100 amps. So we are talking about 5 kilowatts out of this. So this is the reason you should not go and buy the cheapest things you have, especially not for fuses. Fuses are there to protect you, your life, your friends, your family and everything you own. And as you can see, around 90 amps and now it ramps down again. 60 amps around there. So you are not pushing that much current either. So guys, please stay away from cheap Chinese crap. The fuses I have here is one example, but we have more. In the next video, we'll check out another horrible example of something that you should not be using. This is a 200 amp fuse running at 100 amp intermittent and it's still not working as it should. It's getting very, very hot. So I want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and thank you once again.